Hello, everybody. I am Angry Bird. We're at the Brawl on Breast One Day Tournament Finals. We've seen the first game. Sean managed to beat Herr Robert, but this is a best of three match final. So Herr Robert gets another stab at this and uh, potentially could pull it back to a 1 1 draw. See this go to a. Uh, another game a deciding game or sean may well pick up the victory and uh, win the tournament uh two victories to zero over here robert let's have a look at the matchup so today we have here robert playing armia krahawa on maverick income versus sean paying playing the first ski jaeger on balanced income so I think this is a, yeah, it's a switch from Vanguard to Maverick Income for here, Robert. I think uh, I've seen him in the Discord saying that uh, he does like to play Armia Grahawa on that Maverick Income. And uh, the thought is that really you've got the, or he in this deck has the uh, Tiger and three Panthers in B phase. So that Maverick Income really helps you bring out those four key heavy tanks. Uh, in B phase for Armia Krahawa. Something missing though, the uh, ace of this division, the Shiwat, uh, is missing from the deck. So no A phase armored unit of any kind in here Robert's deck. Uh, that should play into the hands of the Ski Jaeger, but uh, I think this is going to be a very nice contest. Armia Krahawa. Uh, very good infantry deck, but no real armoured support um, and very little support outside of that as well. Um, whereas uh, Ski Jaeger are kind of, kind of quite similar. They have very decent infantry, but they have very... Um, I wouldn't say little, but they don't have a lot of, of armour. Uh, and you kind of have to use what they've got well. I think they're a division that, in the right hands, in a player like Sean's hands, uh, a very good player. That you know they can be played well. Uh, but a the Ski Jaeger, I think, in a uh, in my hands, or a player who's not quite as good as Sean, I think often they can be beaten fairly easily. Um, in terms of here Robert's deck, other things to look out for. Well, there's plenty of actual A phase anti tank. Um, he has the Piet squads, uh, so look out for them. Uh, look forward to some Piet kills, hopefully. <laughs> um, he also has the uh, PTRS uh, anti tank squad, uh, quite a few anti tank guns, no real infantry supporting weapons in A phase, apart from the artillery. The 1897 artillery as well as the 105 millimeter artillery so we could see him go fairly heavy on the artillery uh, early on because outside of infantry what else is he gonna bring in uh, some Hotchkiss and flat guns uh, potentially a, a fighter and an anti-tank plane but you know really it's, it's that artillery that's gonna be the next thing to buy so we could see a fair bit of artillery early on let's have a look at Sean's deck I think this is the same deck as was used against me on this same map as well. Uh, so he'll have have had some practice uh, with this deck, although he is uh, coming from the opposite direction, Sean uh, is, I mean. So what can we expect from Sean? Well, lots of fantastic infantry. I, th I think actually both, most of this game will probably be played in the south. Actually... This map is very much an infantry map, so I think they'll concentrate on the, the very south in all the wooded and light forest areas, but also the central sort of main town or city for this map. Uh, I think that's where we'll see all the action. I don't think we'll see too much up north and too much like in the actual center where there's light, lines of sight, um, sort of op where it's open lines of sight. Uh, the game has got underway, so I'm going to have to... Uh, call off from talking about Sean's deck and let's just get straight into the action um, however it is the same deck as was played against me so hopefully you'll get an idea from that game uh, Sean going fairly light actually in the south which is uh, kind of not what I expected 
Uh, fairly decent in this central area. He's got a little pocket of infantry here along with the battery Fuhrer and the commandant. I believe both players will bring out their officers. And we know Sean, what, down goes one infantry in the uh, truck. And I feel like there's another one lost there. Maybe it was just a delayed unload from that ski area. And the T-3485 will be king at the moment. And wow, the Ogna Cheeky kind of caught between two squads there. Uh, we kind of missed that, but it feels like Robert maybe pushed him past one squad and then Sean unloaded both. In this city, it feels like Sean's little group of infantry are going to win out there. Uh, although down here, the game looks like a very... Uh, it looks like here Robert has won out this fight. And uh, kind of surprising... Ah, here's... Hey Robert's uh, leader, but yeah, kind of surprising no officer out early on for Hey Robert. Down goes the AT gun, nothing really to stand in the way of this T-3485, so Hey Robert's going to have to reinforce this northern side. In terms of the income game, Hey Robert, he has a very slight advantage in A, so if he loses ground, he will not like that. And look at the way Sean just micro in this group of infantry, just all in one go. Uh, but making sure he's got the battery fuel there as well as the commandment, so three-star uh, infantry. And that's a, that's a pretty deadly composition of forces that Sean has there. Uh, hey, Robert, with the Cubus down in the southern side, bringing in the uh, Cesar Sergei. I believe that will have brought in them. But uh, yeah, interesting to see the uh, Cubus actually being used in a competitive game. Hey, Robert's suffering in this central town, uh, losing this flag. He's about to lose another, and this is going to be a 15-9 to Sean. A very early pickup for a balanced force. I feel like Sean, now he's got that 59. Uh, this gear is probably going to get caught in the open, but he has the Panzer T-34-85 in support. I feel like now Sean has the 59, he's just going to dig in in this central town uh, and wait for phase b to kind of blow over uh, you know use phase b to bring in his supporting infantry and uh, sorry his supporting weaponry while here robert kind of tries to push back in uh, phase b really here robert does recover well ever so slightly i was going to say recovers to a 13 11 but the flag up there is under pressure uh, it's interesting whether these ski... I think these ski eggers, they yeah, they will go down actually pretty quickly there in the open to the... Uh, wow, the uh, four MP44s and the MG42 there, taking them down pretty quickly. This Panzer T-34 should come a bit further down that hill to provide more supporting fire. Nothing for that T-34 to worry about. Sean won't necessarily know that, but he did see one AT gun go down. So he's kind of got to expect that Robert's probably only brought one in at the start of the game. Maybe a reinforcement coming in, but... I think Sean's just going to leave that T-34 there and just play uh, play the long game, really. And dig it, like I said, dig in in Phase B. Uh, Robert is starting to pick up, you know, a few kills against this infantry. He's got three stars of his own now, so... Um, we do have a leader in, but I'm not seeing a officer yet, so... I guess he already had that uh, infantry at one star vet. Uh, no, it must have been at two star vet, wasn't it? For the uh, upgrade to three star with just a leader. So, a bit of an infantry battle coming in. The Ski Jaegers looks like they're going to go down. More up and cheeky in there. And they're quite beefy units with the uh, 12 Carabiner and Car 98Ks. Uh, that will do the killing on their side, but also the uh, Molotov cocktails. I tend to like to use these in the forest because the Molotov cocktails really helps. Bomber plane coming in there is actually the anti-tank plane being used to force back the infantry. So, you know, there are still rockets. They can provide that uh, suppression damage from those rockets. But as I was saying, the Otna Cheeky, I like to use these in the forest because they have the Molotov cocktails, which really... Uh, push back units in the forest but also there are 15 man squads so if a pioneer comes in they can um, take the full force of a TNT grenade and still have a number of men remaining there is an officer in here so maybe he was hiding somewhere we couldn't quite see uh, but that is providing the uh, vet up to three stars Sean bringing two 80mm mortars and uh, that's going to be nice to push back those heavy uh, 
or sort of beefy infantry units. However, it feels like he's recovered a fair bit of ground here, back to a 12-12, tentatively has this flag. Um, and we're, we're still in A phase at this point, so Robert's got to be happy actually, keeping, an, keeping a, a phase A. He traded, I think Sean traded well in the initial engagements, but here Robert's definitely traded well on the way back into this uh, fight. Sean has that uh, northern area fairly well um, defended with the two MG42s, although one of them not quite in an overwatching position. Sean pulled him back into the forest, so I think here Robert will, may struggle to make ground. I think he's going to concentrate on this central area, potentially on this southern side as well, but Sean can match him with any advance on this southern side because he has great infantry of his own. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's going to be a great battle. And Robert now picking up the 13-11 and uh, starting to get the victory tick on Sean. Sean bringing in pioneers. Um, no, no furor with these pioneers. So the commandant uh, veterancy is going to be uh, wasted or, or not available to these units. So Robert could easily take these out as well. But the Pioneers, they are, you know, they have the Satchel Chargers, they are going to, or the HE Grenades, they are going to prove fairly difficult for uh, here Robert to push through. I think he's going to have to rely on just an overwhelming force there, no real artillery. Oh, we do have a Halbuka 105, so that needs to get in, and that could really damage these units with no leader there as well. Uh, that would be decent. Oh, he's going for the uh, counter battery onto the mortars. That's going to be nice to shut down that mortar fire because I feel like, yes, that is now going to be coming in consistently on this position. So if here Robert can shut that down, that's going to be some decent work. The uh, 36, 37 mil, as well as a pack 75, so something that can really take out that T3485 now. And Sean's left that in the same position for a long while, so that pack 40 as such will have a decent time. The, the uh, 80 mils are actually uh, getting low on shells as the Halbuka fires its first shell into that little pack of mortars. They are moving away. I think Sean has realized the uh, counter battery is coming in. So he is trying to move those mortar units away and I feel like he's going to escape this time. He does have an Opal Blue Blitz munition a bit further back as well. So those mortars are going to get resupplied. Here Robert has managed to push his way through uh, at kind of a longer distance against those Skiega Pioneers. Picks up a flag back to a 13-11 after losing it momentarily. And we've got a crew kill on the T-34. The Pack 75 must have got into a position. Getting the crew kill and that kind of opens up this northern area a bit more. Here Robert's going to need more to push through here because he's going to have to go across open ground. So I can't see that happening in A phase. I think he's going to wait for a tank in B phase to come in before launching that attack. The IL-2 rocket plane just coming in. No tanks really to target. So targeting the infantry instead. Like I said, those rockets, they can still work well against HE, uh, against soft targets. And a pack 50 mil coming in to this central area. Um, the Sturmpanzer KV-2 is on the field and that's going to provide a hell of a lot of damage against these units, these infantry here. Let's just watch this shell come in. Oof, that is a powerful shell. 152mm cannon and a sh oof, look, taking down a pretty high strength infantry unit in three shots there. So, uh, Sean, actually, uh, sorry, hey, Robert, he has spotted the uh, Opal Blitz munitions from somewhere. Sean bringing in a Dornier 217. Hey, Robert, responding with the Yak 9. Could get a kill here if he gets on the back. Um, that could be a decent kill. Down goes one of the infantry at long range. Sean not got his MG42 in the best position. And he is trying to micro that down. The Yak 9B, will it have enough pace? I think it will. The Dorney is falling back over the enemy lines here. This is a major uh, issue for Sean. The Yak-9B not going to get it due to the head-on pass. Is he going to get a second chance? That Yak-9B needs to turn and turn fast. The IO-2 M3 now coming in to try and finish off that Dornier 217, but it's still pilot injured. And uh, 
Oof, this is in a bad spot against both planes. Down it goes. Oh, look at that beautiful sight there. I really love that. Let's just get a quick replay of that. I love the way those two planes just crossed in front of each other. This was a beautiful sight to behold. The way the Dornier just passes and look at these two planes. Kind of crossfire on each other and they're missing on the pass. Lovely little, lovely action there. The IL-2 M3 after that strike actually came in with its rockets onto this MG-42. And uh, Robert's pushing forwards now. Now that MG-42 is pinned down, the infantry will go down to the combined fire of all the squads around it. It's just finishing off that MG-42 that's going to be the uh, difficulty for Herobert. Uh, more Pioneers being spawned in for Sean as well as the Stug 3G in this uh, the Mortars. Still in the same position, the Halbuka has a chance to uh, open up on that. Um, potentially missing its first strikes. But uh, the Mortar units coming in, trying to uh, take down the infantry of Herr Robert. And uh, I feel like it's a decent strategy from Sean because... I think if he can take down the infantry of here, Robert, he can win this in the long game with a better armour. He he does have to go through a number of Panther Gs, which is going to be tough. But uh, there's only three Panther Gs and one Tiger. So I feel like he can do that with the Ski Jaeger. But he really needs to win the infantry game. This is where the fight's going to be won or lost in the actual infantry game. Down south, we have another Stern Panzer KV-2R and a uh, Panzer T-3485. The uh, Jaeger Pioneers coming into the woods, but they are up against Recon with their own satchel chargers. One comes down from either side. Who's going to win out this battle? The Pioneers look like they're... Uh... Oof, this is close. The uh, Recon unit pinned down, but actually recovering. Uh, and I think won't surrender due to the Okna Cheeky behind. And uh, the T-34 pushing in, trying to potentially get, you know, some more fire onto that recon unit. But I think the recon unit's going to win it in the long run. Now the Oknachiki move forwards. The Pioneers are going to go down. As soon as that, yeah, there's the Molotov shell. Down it goes. Uh, combined fire from the infantry onto the stern fusiliers. Uh, no actual anti-tank on these um, infantry units here. I'd love to see the Piat try and make its way further south. Um, to try and get into a position for a short range shot. Uh, the Halbuka 105 still saying it's aligning, so potentially that could be on the counter battery order, waiting for fire from those uh, 80 millimeter mortars. The off map coming in there from the DZIP KAO 152 millimeter. Uh, not a hell of a lot here, but. Potentially the Commandant could be in a slight bit of trouble. The Stern Panzer KV-2. Ooh, that's falling back. Oh, it's a shame uh, here Robert didn't try and push that, that infantry further forward. But yes, he is now pushing for the surrender. Does pick up one. But the uh, Ski Eggs coming in potentially could take out this on the cheeky. Yes, they do. And uh, I think here Robert is, is he pushing for that surrender? He's... Uh, these aren't the cheeky. They don't have armor penetrating uh, power on them, despite the icon. It's because of the Molotov cocktail, but they don't have actually have armor penetrating uh, or, or anti-tank weaponry on them. Uh, but a rocket plane coming in now. Oh, targeting the uh, Sturm Ski Jaeger. Uh, taking uh, only one man lost there on those Sturm Ski Jaegers, I believe. So, not fantastic. In comes the uh, MG42s. For here, Robert, of his own, and that should allow him to take down the Ski Jaeger M42, MG42, and push forward with infantry. The Stug 3G is going to be all that stands in here, Robert's way. We have a Tiger onto the field. We are in B phase, and we're fairly substantially in B phase as well. The Cubus, I'm surprised that didn't try and make its way up for a Piat shot onto these tanks. Sean has managed to group a number of infantry units here. He knows there's a, a half strength recon squad, there's only one man left. And an Oknanichiki in here. So he knows exactly what's in this forest. And uh, he's going to be pushing forwards with the Ski Bura. The, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the uh, Stern Panzer KV-2R firing on the Oknanichiki. And even at short, <laughs> very short range. Wow, this uh, Piat is just not close enough. In comes the uh, anti-tank IL-2M3. 
gets the strike, puts them in a falling back state. The infantry is going to pick up the kills down here. And uh, surprised they have not surrendered. Really surprised. Now the surrender goes. Sean kind of recovering this position. I feel like here Robert could have pushed through here. Prevented that counter-attack. Sean's actually got the 13-11 right now. We're midway through B phase. But I think in terms of number of units, here Robert does have a lot here. So Sean's going to have to trade very well uh, for the next 10 minutes to keep himself in this game. These Ski Jaegers, they look like they're going to go down. Um, there's a... The mortars are now firing, so I'm interested to see when this Halberka fires. I think that's on counter-battery order. It's just we cannot see that in the replay. Off-map coming down here, perfectly placed with this DZIP KO 152mm off-map. Lovely placement of that off-map. Uh, but nothing coming in from here, Robert. So just, just maybe uh, chunking down units. The uh, mortars have fired. The Halbukar is not responding. So I feel like maybe that's uh, maybe that's on some kind of hold fire command. And we just can't see the icons due to the patch change. Um, if here Robert puts, his, puts a second off map in this position. Sean's commandant could be in serious trouble. And I feel like he's doing that. Surely he sees the infantry all coming into this one tiny area. I feel like there's an off map about to come down uh, in that position i'd like to come back to that and find out the uh, pack 50 engaging the stern panzer kv2r does get the transmission destroyed so that's going to be stuck in that position uh, and the crew killed so that kv2r is no longer a threat may well change fire onto the panzer t34 does so but is now out of apcr ammunition the mortars firing on the uh, infantry in this pocket here is an off map going to come down actually uh, i'm surprised that robert's pushing forward this on the gk if there is an off map coming down that is a uh, surprising decision but more infantry coming into this spot if there's an off map about to come down here sean could be in a desperate position il2 m3 taking down the mg42 and look at that that is going to allow here robert to advance in that northern sector i feel like he can make quite a lot of ground there look at the territory swing as well in that far northern sector Surely an off map's going to come down into that position there. Another one coming into this uh, southern area and just uh, beating down the infantry unit. I really want an off map to come in into this area. It could have a devastating effect on the infantry. That Halberker still not opened fire, so I'm not sure what order that is on. Uh, but still not open fire, although the mu munitions... Has that come down to the south? Yes. That Opel Blitz munitions come down to the south. I feel like he's, he wants to uh, fix up this KV-2R, but he can't at the moment, uh, surely, because that munitions is probably going to get fired on. No off-map coming down here, so very surprising. We did see the DZIP KO move forward, so really surprised. Maybe he was going to target it onto these mortars in the back, but he must have seen the number of infantry coming in here. I'd have loved to have seen a strike there. A bit surprised as well. I mean, here Robert lost one of the infantry pushing forwards in that northern sector. I'm surprised he's not devoting another resource. Another Panther, uh, a Panther G into that central area. The IL-2 M3 has spotted the uh, Opal Bits munitions does take that out although it was fairly low with supplies so not a major kill um, but it's good enough two stuck three g's coming into the central area um, i feel like here robert is coming out of b phase now so he will have an, a major infantry disadvantage or, or income disadvantage sorry has he done enough at this stage he's 13 11 up it doesn't feel like he will have done enough given the uh, infantry uh, Given the income disadvantage he will have. Um, Panther D not in a fantastic position. I'd have preferred it sort of down here. Uh, where the line of sight is so open. I mean this position here. Look at this position here. I'm, it's covering both major roads. It's covering this flag here on this road. And this road coming in. In here. You know just down here in this position. Lovely little position there for a, for a heavy tank. Uh, off map again coming into this section uh, not really anything there there was the uh, opal blitz munitions but that uh, fell back and the 
AL23M just striking into the center there. Uh, Sean looks like he's pushing. Now he's into C phase. Uh, he has the income advantage. Looks like he's going to try and push forwards. We've got a Piat coming forwards. Uh, potentially going to move through here and get a shot off against his T3485. Uh, the Panther G has moved down. Oh, sorry, no, it's another Panther G coming into this southern area. Should take out that Pan the T3441. Um, IL2 coming into the top side, uh, striking the Ski Jaeger Pioneer. And Hey, Robert, he can take this area. I think he's just not been committed enough at this stage. He is now committing resources. Got to be careful not to lose these partisans. He needs to unload these. Does now unload. Um, he's got another set of partisans kind of following up. It's just the MG42 and the Stug 3G at distance. But he has picked up that flag, taking it to a 1410. I'm still not sure this is enough, given that uh, we're 20 minutes into this game, we're out of B phase, we're into C phase, and Sean's got the major income advantage. I feel like he can push back from this position. The Stug 3G bailing out! The Panther G there! Wow! That's a big, big kill. I mean, hey, Robert could still save that Panther G. If he gets some smoke in there, a uh, supply truck, he can save that Panther G. That here, that stuck 3G. Oof, no. Where did that go down from? Where did that go down from? Let's have a look. I'm sure it came from the southern area. A shot came from south, it felt like. The stuck 3G continuing to attack that. Yeah, it looked like it came from the south. Where did that shot come from? Was that a shot down here from this Pan Panzer T-34 into like a side shot? I feel like maybe it was. If you guys saw that better in the comments, you let me know. But I feel like this Panzer T-34 maybe got a side shot onto the Panther. Maybe that's what actually uh, bailed it out in the first place. Wow, interesting. Doesn't look like it based on the line of sight. But potentially it looked like the shot came from southwards. So uh, that's all I can think it could have been. Uh, here Robert got a little group of Hotchkiss with the flak 30 in the southern side. Sean looks like he's pushing through but I don't think he has enough here. He may well make a dent but I don't think he has enough to really break through. Certainly, certainly like the previous game. Um, Sean now bringing in an SDK of Z72 and I feel like he has been fairly hammered by the airplay coming from Herr Robert. Panther G, I think, is this the last Panther G? Yes, it will be because there's only three Panther Gs. The last one coming into the northern section. I feel like this is what Herr Robert's been missing on this northern side. Real heavy tank. I, th I mean, if he got through that Stug 3G, uh, there'd be not a lot else in his way. But Sean actually bringing the modern ones, which can counter that Panther G pretty easily. And it uh, looks like he's pushing Ski Jaeger forwards. I think he was trying to see what was there, but the two MG42s are going to provide excellent fire. Uh, I feel like Sean needs something else up here on this uh, tree line to help him out. More MG42s, potentially more mortars up there. But uh, Sean, I think he's having to replenish his front line, actually, in this central area. Apart from this one pocket of troops and the troops coming in, there's, there's not a lot here. It's very spread out. Not a lot of front line. I mean, the SDK have said 7-2s here are the front line. There's nothing in this town. Down goes one to the Tiger. And uh, actually, here Robert could make some a major play here into the central side. However, the Stug 3G and the Pack 36-37 coming in potentially could get a uh, heat shell off. A spawning hit from the Stug 3G and the heat shell. Beautiful play from Sean. The way he uses these Pack 36-37 mills. Absolutely fantastic play. Uh, the three Marders going into the sort of northern, yeah, into the northern position. Uh, big kill for the Tiger. I think if he can, uh, there's two real Panthers now that are the challenge. Um, but here Robert is going to get access to some T-34-76s as well, which he's using in this southern side, the Piat there. Very far forward, I feel like. Here Robert could have almost 
do with an infantry unit moving over the open. I reckon that Ski Jaeger would go down. The mortar's continuing to open fire, but this Halbuka has been targeting this mortar for such a long time. There must be an issue. That There, there's, there must be some kind of issue uh, that's meaning that that Halbuka isn't firing. Now, I'd like to uh, find out what that is. Hey, Robert, if you're watching, um, if you know why that Halbuka isn't firing, you know, maybe you could explain it to... Uh, Potentially could be a bug in the game. The Yak-9 straying very far over enemy lines. This SDK of Z-7-2 surely will get a killing blow. Not quite as powerful as the 7-1s. Um, so, here Robert does, I feel, manage to escape here. The 7-2 will start to open fire again. Look at this train of Ski Jaegers coming in. It, Sean does have the Ski Jaeger Fuhrer there as well. It's going to be a lot of pressure uh, onto this this central flag. Uh, but Sean's going to find it do tough pushing through the infantry. I mean, he has a lot of infantry and it's, it's decent infantry, but hey, Robert has a lot of very good infantry too. Sean has to make it play with the support units. Uh, and that starts by uh, taking out the heavy tanks so he can, re uh, he can use those support units with a fantastic degree of... Uh, Threat and uh, opportunity, I would say. A little pocket of uh, units. Sean always using these pockets of infantry. Uh, but he is open up to a... Uh, well, that was a Molotov Cocktails and doesn't have as much power as a TNT. But look at this, two Otley Cheekers. With those Molotov Cocktails actually forcing back a number of infantry units there. They are very good in that forest. Very good in that forest, the Otley Cheekers. So, I was kind of feeling like Sean could pull back this game. Uh, we're a bit further along now. He's got 16 minutes to do it. He still has a massive income advantage. I feel like if he, if he can take out that Northern Panther G, I feel like the Southern one has gone down. Oh, no, it's here. So, yeah, there's two Panther Gs. I feel like if he can take out those two big threats, he can maybe be a bit more uh, ambitious with his armor. But he has lost a Marder 1 to the Panther. And the other one gun jammed. So those Marders not enough. The Heinkel 111 H16 is coming in for their heavy bombs onto this position. And oof, the Yak 9 coming in. Does release the bombs. Will it get caught? Doesn't. Kind of overshoots. And both units have to fall back. But look at that. One infantry squad lost. Actually pins down his own infantry there. And uh, look how far away they were, but pinned down, beautiful uh, two bombs there by the Heinkel. And down goes the Yak, uh, probably to the SDKFZ 7-2 there. Uh, so the Yak does go down. The Halbuka now opening fire, so it looks like a switch of targets has opened fire onto that MG42. Uh, so good to see that into action once more. The OB25, or sorry, the 52Ps. Now coming up for here, Robert, and that's going to help him out in this infantry engagement. Sean pushing forward with a number of Ski Jaegers in a line with the stu stuck 3Gs behind. Kind of pincer moving uh, these, this pocket of infantry here. Um, he could he could make some ground here. The, there's not too much on the front lines here. Uh, more, more infantry down south. It looks like Sean is pushing through in this central area. Here, Robert, back to a 13-11. The Halbuka, is that target in the, uh, no, that was target in the MG42 that was there. Um, hey Robert, I don't think he knows there's not a lot there. If he pushes the Panther G forwards, he would actually completely open up this northern side, but uh, he isn't going to know that. The Stug 3G pushing forwards, and uh, we could see potentially a Panzerfaust come in here. I'd love to see hey Robert just move buildings there, get the Panzerfaust off. I think uh, Sean right now is having to be very aggressive to kind of recover flags. He's just picked up this flag, but here Robert's still at a 14-10 now, making some ground in this southern side. And uh, Sean's kind of having to react here. This southern side's pretty open right now. In fact, kind of a, a lot of areas are fairly open. Hey Robert, targeting that Stug 3G with the ILM2 bomber plane, but why is he not moving this uh, groupy Sturmovi into position? 
In goes the rockets. Does fall it back. Still surprised he didn't use that uh, infantry unit with the, with the uh, Panzerfaust there. The mortars are going to rain down onto the uh, infantry of Herr Robert, but actually he's managed to uh, hold off that attack from Sean. It did look fairly deadly, uh, but he did just manage to hold him off. Up to a 59 now. Wow, I think Herr Robert's managing to uh, hold on to this game. I mean, this, this flag here is actually open for the taking as well. There's barely anything defending it. All of the infantry's gone down, and Sean's just left with a, a hell of a lot of tanks. But I'm sure he has more res reserves of infantry. But this just shows Army of Krahawa still, uh, you know, they are a very good infantry unit. Infantry division, sorry. Will stand up very well to... Um, two infantry plays and look just a line of stug 3g's and panzer t-34's uh, they are going to do some decent work here because the are cheeky they can't really uh penetrate and he's just pushing forward to take the flag but it's not going to work in the long run these t-34's are going to go down at some point uh, as soon as Sir robert gets some kind of asset some anti-tank asset Maybe he moves the T-3476, maybe he brings in one of the anti-tank planes, maybe he gets a shot from the Panther G, although there's one in the north and one in the south, isn't there? Yeah, they're still around. Off-map coming in from the, uh, the Geo 145B off-map artillery plane. Artillery, uh, sorry, Air Artillery Observer. And uh, let's just see the strike in the northern section or in the center section, not enough. Not enough. Uh, the artillery observer coming forward again. Um, will that be able to make its way back? No, it goes down. So I think probably two of the three off map uh, artillery um, availability used there. So two of three, I would suspect. And uh, Sean not quite getting full use. Now the hard because retargeting the mortars and actually yeah and this this northern side is just open for the taking i think here robert's going to sit here on a 13 11 just let sean attack back into him um conserve his units as best as possible and uh yeah down comes the off map here what effect will that have it's nicely placed no oh down goes the t-34 there Just one T-34 at present. So, uh, the infantry down here has gone down as well, though. So, Sean could maybe push through here. But the tanks, they are going to recover. Unless he can push through very quickly with this T-34-42. I think he's going to have a tough time. He's going for it. He is going for it. But he's going to have a tough time. I think these are going to recover. Push. Keep going. Keep going. He's not giving it. He's not giving it an order far enough. The M, the Pack 50 recovers. Will it go down to a shot? Oh, this is a tight engagement. Oh, <laughs> oh, beautiful to watch. I just love getting tight on the action. So the uh, T3442 was engaging the T3476 1943 model. It left the Pack 50 with a side shot. One shot, bailed out. Beautiful play. So we did miss the IL M23 coming in with the... Uh, 2M3, sorry, with the uh, anti-tank rockets. Uh, that will have come in onto this position. Probably got the tracks broken onto this T3442. But Sean has managed to get himself a foothold onto this flag. Um, he's still 13 11, 11 down, though. So he's only got eight minutes. And... Where is he going to make the ground? He needs to hold this flag here. Here, Robert's obviously going to bring in forces to counter at counter attack. And actually, there's enough T-34s here uh, to hold that position and, and push back. I think here, Robert, at some point, is going to push onto this flag as well. The Heinkel 111 H-16 is coming in for the attack onto the T-34. Will it get the kill? Does take out an infantry unit, um, but does make it out. Just, just makes it out. I think Sean's got got two key units here, but he needs to pick up one more flag at minimum to bring it back to a 12-12. I 
I feel like he's going to try and target that flag. But I feel like... Oh, no. He's targeting this flag. I was about to say, but I feel like this would be the easier flag to take. And it looks like that's where his focus is going to come in. These Otnachikis are out of Molotov cocktails, so they will be fairly weakened. Um, and the Sturmski Jaegers could certainly do a decent job. IL-2M3 Rocket Strike going in there on, I think, the Ski Jaeger Führer. Uh, transmission damage T-3442. Oh, but there is a pack 36-37. We could get a short-range shot here as well. Oh! <laughs> blessed! We have been blessed today by this close-range action. Beautiful play with the 36-37 mil, turning off the AP shells so it uses... The 800 meter, 180 millimeter penetration rocket shells potentially could pick up a kill here against this Panther G as well. That has, yes, within 800 meters, is it going to get the kill? I think he's just moving into position, but the infantry might just kill that that AT gun before it gets a chance to fire. Does get, I think that was one shot that he did just get off there. Uh, but Sean trying to move that out of the way. Yes, he isn't going to get a second chance. We did see one rocket come in and it kind of missed on the left-hand side. Um, but now Sean's infantry coming into the battle. I think he, could, he can definitely take down this on the cheeky. He has to not lose this Ski Jaeger here to the pack 50. Just in loads in time. Very good. I mean, all of these Group 1 players, I feel like they're about to lose their infantry. And then they just unload in time. I, whereas I would just lose the infantry. I would just lose them. So more ILM2, uh, 2M3, sorry, uh, anti-tank rocket strikes coming in onto the T-34s. Just forcing one back for the moment. There's a T-34-76 in a nice little position. Another rocket strike coming down. More infantry coming in. Uh, and there's not a hell of a lot of... Well, there isn't, there isn't really any infantry to stand in here on its way. So... He just needs to take out the tanks, really, and the infantry will get taken out eventually. Sean does pick up the flag. 12-12. Can he hold it? If I'm honest, I don't think he can. I think this, this flag here is going to go down at some point. All we have now is T-34s holding the position. Um, we, we could see the Piat. We need to see a Piat. We need to see him fall back, move around the north, and come in by this northern section. You know, into this building, lovely Piat shot. That's what we need to see. We need to see the uh, these tanks need to go down. Uh, but more airstrikes are going to struggle. The SDKFZ-72 has pushed up. And uh, more tanks coming into this sector. So I feel like Sean maybe... Uh, I don't think he's going to be out of infantry. But I think maybe he's sort of trying to conserve his infantry as best as possible. He knows that Armia Krahawa is a fantastic infantry division. But here Roberts pulled back the flag once more, back to a 13-11. Sean's got five minutes to uh, pull something out the bag here. It's looking incredibly difficult. We have a, a ski Panzerschreck, a ski Jäger Panzerschreck in here that could do some nasty damage onto the T-34-76. It's just about Sean finding that unit and finding a good spot, another Air Artillery Observer, but we've got a number of Hotchkisses back here, and the Flak 30. I feel like it's not going to get out. I think this is going to go down. Yeah, I mean, this is a suicide run. Absolute suicide run. He's going to get one off map. It is going to go down. Down it goes. So, one off map, probably placed down here, maybe placed up here. We'll look for that to come in any moment now. Robert's still not pushing this northern side. I mean, there's, there's literally nothing that could stand up against that Panther G. But uh, he's just happy fighting his way into this central area. Look at the number of tanks. Absolute number of tanks in that central area. Heinkel 111H16. Is this another? Yes, another artillery observer off map coming in. The, the Geo 145B. We're waiting for the strike to come down. So it does aim for the uh, anti-air back here. That will allow the uh, second one to uh, have a... Probably, I think, will get away with its life. Does kill one of the Hotchkisses. Surely that second one's got to go down. Um, potentially this T... Yes, it does. Potentially this T-3476 might go down again. It looks like he's bringing this in for another strike. He's trying to avoid the anti-air in the bottom side, uh, which is a very good choice. 
I think this one's going to come in here on this uh, group of units in this tree line, but only two Hotchkisses go down. Not fantastic from that one artillery strike. This one's got to do a hell of a lot of work. And we do have another infantry unit and an 80 mil come in. Those 80 mils earlier have gone down. The IL-2 M3 coming in for another anti-tank rocket strike, but being forced back before it can unleash its rockets. I feel like hey, Robert needs to bring in some artillery. He could finish this game off. He has a lot of artillery at his disposal. And uh, he could finish this game off. Here comes the second off map. Rightly coming in on this Norman area. Down goes the Piat. This could do some devastating work, actually. A lot of units pinned down. Very low strength. Nothing else going down at this point. The Artillery Observer coming in again. Will this one... Oh, sorry, no. This is the Heinkel uh, 111 H16. So that one should survive pretty decently. Just going to hammer the uh, infantry, but Sean's down to three and a half minutes left. Uh, he's trying to take this flag and keep it. This is going to be the one that earns him that 12-12. Um, but he's just losing a lot of units trying to push through this area. It's a very infantry-focused area. He has all of his tanks up in the central position. None of them down here. And he's just struggling tra trading in the infantry uh Kind of area. Oh, beautiful strike there. Three units all pinned down, but nothing to uh, follow that up from here, Robert. Looks like we're probably going to get another off map come in. Uh, but I think that's the last one. That off map plane did go down. Another hind call strike. Oh, sorry, no, there's another off map here. Um, so that must. Oh, that must have been the uh, plane earlier, potentially. I don't know. That must have been the plane. Look at this. Panzer Shrek. It's blocked. The line of sight is blocked. It must have been revealed the way that Sean's moving away all of his uh, tanks. I feel like that Panzer Shrek could have got a beautiful uh, move there. Maybe if he'd have tried to sort of move forward and back through there. Uh, but he, Robert conserving it for another day. And how Sean's commandant is still alive in that spot, I don't know. I think this is Sean's last gap. He's got last gasp, last gasp attack, last chance saloon, last roll of the dice. Um, Panzer Shrek going in there, only getting the transmission damage and being destroyed. So that T-34-76 going to stay there and uh, be a menace to these infantry units. This is uh, Sean's last roll of the dice, like I said, and uh, there's just too much down here. There is too much down here. Sean is not going to get this flag back, and uh, I don't see anywhere else that uh, he's going to make ground. I think this is here, Roberts, now, well and truly. Potentially the only way would be to try and just completely push through with a bit of a rush with these T-34s. It would be... Fairly suicidal, but at the same time, maybe it's, uh, you know, it is his last chance. What else can he do at this stage? Three SDKF-Z72s in here, so very much protecting against those airstrikes. One minute left on the clock now. Infantry pushing further up north. Look how he's just trying to get that flag. The uh, Panzer Shreks somehow not get in line of sight do get found do take out one of the infantry in the transport yeah the ski egg has fallen back from the uh, molotovs and also the uh, submachine gun and the rifle on these panzer shreks very good unit so oh did that get the uh, that got the panzer shrek off on one of these t-34s crew kill from the uh, is that the m42 gun why is that showing the uh, tank gun there? Does that do that on all of the units? I've never noticed that before. No, the Pack 40 has the actual normal gun, whereas the uh, the uh, Armata WZ.36 37mm has the uh, tank gun icon. Interesting. Oh! Another Panzer Shrek kill onto the uh, T-34. That's it, because there's no infantry left. These Panzer Shreks can get very close. And uh, Hiroba maintains the 13-11, wins the game. 
beautiful display there from both players. I fully enjoyed watching that match. We had some fantastic close quarter kills uh, and here Robert does a uh, an absolute perler, an absolute perler of a job uh, beating Sean in this game. 44 minutes, 55 seconds here Robert picks up the victory. 5,400 kills to 3,200 losses. Absolutely and completely and utterly out trade Sean there. Wow. Major credit to here, Robert. Absolutely major credit to here, Robert there. He played an, a, a stunning game. A stunning game. And to out trade uh, Sean like that, I mean, that that's a fantastic job. Sean, an absolutely exceptional player. And that game wasn't a short a quick short game that was a long game and Sean likes playing balanced income uh, he trades very well over time so uh, I guess that just shows how badly uh, the rest or how badly I, I am when uh, Sean absolutely destroyed me with that ski acre deck <laughs> so let's have a look at the uh, kills for here Robert the groupie Sturmowie I'm going to pronounce them like that. <laughs> Takes out a number of units, including the Sturm Skiega. Not easy units to deal with with those MP44s. A battery Fuhrer going down there and a Skiega Pioneer. Nice kills from this groupie Sturmavi. The IL-2 M3. I feel like this is the anti-tank plane because that was the first one that came in. Uh, gets two. Yes, it is because it took out the Opal Blitz munition. But other than that, only gets uh, a couple of infantry kills and a Panzer T-34 kill. Not fantastic, not out of this world, I guess. Hey, Robert will be very happy with it, but uh, not out of this world. The IL-2 M3 picked up the Dornia 217. That was where the two planes kind of crossed, uh, kind of crossed in that cinematic beauty, beautiful of display that we saw. Does also pick up the MG42 kill and also an ME109 G6R4 kill as well. Nice work from that IL2 M3. Beautiful work. The Okna Cheeky, that's taken down two Pioneer squads. A Ski Jäger Führer. Beautiful work from the Okna Cheeky. Another Okna I mean, this is what I mean. This infantry is fantastic infantry. Ski Jäger infantry is not necessarily bad infantry. They have a couple of units. I think this Ski Jäger unit is not one of the best. It's fairly. Uh, um, it's not a fantastic unit, but the rest of their infantry is decent infantry. So um, it just shows how good the Polish infantry as well. The Tiger takes out the Sturmpanzer KV-2R. That's I think that's a fairly big kill. If those Sturmpanzers could have stuck around for a while and just... I mean, like we saw, three shots to take down a full-strength infantry squad. If they would have stuck around, they could certainly have deleted a lot more infantry. SDK said... Seven twos, they probably moved very far forward for that Tiger to uh, get the kills. And more Nachiki kills, fantastic unit. Uh, the the Halbacar did pick up some infantry kills, but that unit was kind of underutilized. I feel like that must have been on some kind of order. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was counter battery or, or what, or, or defensive fire, maybe, or something. But that's, that seemed really odd that that was not firing for such a long time. Uh, maybe here Robert could clear that one up for us. Um, the Armata Pack 50mm killing the uh, Sturmpanzer KV-2R and beautiful kill there from that gun. Just look at the infantry trades. So many infantry killed. And this is where Herr Robert won the battle. Just trading infantry after infantry. Uh, beautiful display. Sorry, no, this must be the Halbuka 105mm. I'm not sure where the... Uh, the field battery, 152mm. That must have been at the back and we just didn't see it. Um, so where was this? The Halbacar. That did get the 80mm uh, mortar kills in the end. Just took a long time to uh, get them. I feel like that probably was on counter battery. It just for some reason wasn't firing. Maybe. Not 100% not sure. The Piat. Stug 3G and a Panzer T3485. I'm... I apologise, I couldn't bring you the Piat kills. Uh, I certainly look out for those Piat kills. but And another Piat down here. Uh, I think we're like these were in the southern side. Picking up the uh, Panzer T-3442 kill. Um, and these are the, the Panzer Shrek kills towards the end. And the uh, 
36 37 mil kills at the end as well beautiful job and the losses for here robert or the kills for sean that panzer t34 41 fiora did a wow that yes it was that unit from the south that got the panther g kill it was that t34 41 I mean, the line of sight tool was not indicating that that should have been able to fire on that Panther G, but somehow through the buildings, it got the shot off. And uh, wow, what a kill for that Panzer T3441 off Fiora. Beautiful kill. And look at the number of kills it got. Very nice kills there. I mean, the armor kind of the armor kind of killed the infantry for Sean. Uh, it's just unfortunate his infantry lost out as well. Um, so he did have his own artillery at the back. We didn't concentrate a hell of a lot looking at those artillery pieces. Uh, this one did some nice damage on the uh, KAO. That may have been already fired, all of its off-map. But uh, looking for the... Uh... Oh, no, these are the off-map units, of course. <laughs> Sorry, this is why I was getting confused. These are the off-map units from the... Uh... From the air artillery observer from the airplane the the geo uh 145 b i think it was uh these are the off map artillery uh so one of them does pick up a few kills and the other one a bit further up again picks up a few kills nothing major nothing major so congratulations to Herr robert he equals or he ties the match up this is a best of three, so it will go to a third game. And uh, the winner of that third game uh, will take the entire tournament. So it's a do or die game for both players. Uh, we will have a winner tomorrow on tomorrow's cast. Uh, look forward to seeing here Robert versus Sean once again. I'm looking forward to it. I've, I think both of these games have been fantastic games to watch and uh, i am looking forward to to this next game coming up i just want to say thanks very much thanks uh i'm stumbling here i just want to say thanks very much for watching uh, like i always say if you did enjoy this uh, just please give me that thumbs up it does help me more so with the youtube al algorithm and spreading the videos to more players or, or more people so that they can uh, enjoy the game and hopefully pick up steel division 2 once again um, if you haven't subscribed, just uh, hit that subscribe so that you don't miss tomorrow's game in particular. And uh, also check out the description for links to my Discord, uh, Patreon and Twitch. Thanks very much for watching. I am Angry Birds. I will see you tomorrow for the final game of the Brawl on Breast Tournament.